loves Chris Addings here, as you probably know, it's been really, really hot. Been a lot of fires around the state. Looks like we're going to have a particularly active day as we head into uh, Wednesday. You can see we have red flags warnings pretty much across just about the whole area east of the divide. Much of the area is west of the divide. The only exceptions up here in the uh, upper Green Basin, also across much of Sweetwater County. Fuels aren't quite critical across this area. And the reason why, one thing you need is some strong wind gusts, 25 miles per hour over. And if you can advance the slide, sir, thank you. See some wind gusts, 25, 30. These might be a little bit underdone. I can see some gusts, maybe 30, maybe 40 miles per hour as a cold front drops down across the area. Some strong winds mixed down to the surface. The other thing we need, well, relative humidity, has to be under 15%. We're certainly going to have that. Some places in the single digits, this could make for really rapid fire growth in some areas. You see some reds up in here, some areas here. The relative humidity down maybe as low as maybe 7 or 8%. And one other thing we need, health, high temperatures. You see 90s once again widespread across the area. This could be a couple low as well. I can see 95, 96 in some of these areas. But if you don't like it, wait until Thursday. A cold front comes in, you go, ah. Very refreshing out there. Temperatures dropping 10 to 15 degrees. Very comfortable weather in the 80s. They feel like late August or early September out there. So you want to go out and enjoy the outdoors. This will be the day. Relative humidity will be higher. Nice calm winds. Thursday looks like we'll finally break the heat at least for a couple.